Okay, so next I'm going to press my darts. So first thing I'm going to try to use a pressing ham if there's one available. Um, I'm going to press my darts away from the center and then press them toward the center. So press them the wrong way at the base of the dart so we can get it nice and flat. And then press it the right way. Making sure you get the apex nice and flat using the hand. And then I'm going to press the front. same for the other dart. Now my darts at the center front overlap because they are at an angle and they're meeting up at the neckline. Um, so for me to take care of that and eliminate bulk, I am going to clip my darts. Um, I don't want you to clip your darts. So. front looks like this. Kind of hard to see the dart um, because the print is so busy. And then they're both facing the center front on the inside. I've already pressed one of my back darts. Okay, so that looks like this. Okay, and my um, dart is facing the center back, which is a straight edge. Okay, now because some of you have um, either necklines that are one shoulder or they cut into the bias, I'm going to have you go in and do a stay stitch on all your curves. So we're going to stitch in a number one stitch. This should get caught in your seam allowance. So I'm going to actually stitch um, around the armhole here and around my front and back necklines. Okay, so all of your curves. Make sure, so right now my, my darts are at my neckline, so I want to make sure those are flat and facing the right direction, and I'm going to stitch right on the edge of the fabric, um, and I am stitching with a top stitching foot so I can easily just line up with the edge of uh, my fabric, um, because we're going to stitch this at a quarter of an inch, so this is not a stitch you want to have to take out and not a stitch that you want to actually show. Um, so just stitch as close as possible to the edge. If your fabric is not really moving under the machine with a number one stitch, you can stitch this at about one and a half would be fine too. And this is to prevent any uh, stretching on your curves before we can get your facing in there and finish it. No need to back tack because the stitch is not going to go anywhere. Just remember to uh, trim your thread tails. So I'm going to just continue that stitch. I just did the neckline. I'm going to go and do the same thing on the armhole. Armholes, so both front armholes. And then my back neckline, making sure the dart is facing the center back and on my armhole. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to serge um, my bodice pieces. So first thing I'm going to do, I know my zipper is going at the center back, is I'm going to serge my center back pieces here, um, making sure that I'm not trimming anything, making sure that I trim my serger tails when I'm finished. I'm not going to serge any necklines and I'm not going to serge the hem yet until I have my entire bodice put together. Make sure your serging's not hanging off, that it's caught the edge. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's black on black. Um, so I'm going to do both center back edges here uh, before I install my zipper.
remember to leave a serger tail um, on the serger to prevent it from unthreading. Okay, now this is optional. You can serge uh, the side seams separately or you can wait until we do this next step and stitch them together, press it open and then serge them separately. Um, if you think you may have to do an alteration, I would suggest serging them separately. I'm going to go ahead and serge together since my um, garment is just going to go in the dress form. So my next step is I'm going to put my front piece down, face up. Okay, here are my shoulders. This is my neckline. And I'm going to go in and put down my back piece on the right side, back piece on the left. <clears throat> the only thing I'm concerned with is my side seams matching up. So from the bottom of the armhole to the bottom of my garment, I'm going to start pinning. If you have a dart in your side seam somewhere for your design, make sure your dart is facing downward. Okay, so horizontal darts face downward. I'm going to go ahead and do my two side seams, stitching them with number two stitch after I pin uh, with back tacking when I start and when I finish. And that's going to be at my half inch seam allowance. Okay, once I finish that, I'm going to press the seam open um, and then I'm actually going to serge mine together. If you surged before, um, the stitch then you just need to press the seam open after you finish it. Right, so I'm on number two stitch. And I'm stitching at half inch. Um, and then I'm going to press those seams open. Okay, so I've stitched my side seams here. And I'm going to go ahead and press that seam open. Okay, you want to make sure you're pressing the seam nice and flat, and then also press the right side. 